What is up guys, it is Nisho here and today we are talking Twilight Ninja. So we did see in the leaked list for Battles of Legends Lights of Revenge that uh, they were the two new Pendulum Ninja monsters would be in the set. And I just wanted to go over them because you know honestly uh, it's like ninjas were our deck that where their support has kind of just been either near unplayable or just plain bad, right? <laughs> and I, I feel like in the whole span of the ninja archetype, there has only been four good ninja cards. The first one being Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. The second one being Upstar Golden Ninja. The third one being uh, Ninjutsu Art Notebook. And um, the last one, only because the notebook would be Alchemy. The one where you would destroy the notebook and then draw two cards. Those are the only four good ninja cards. All the other ninja cards have been so mediocre that they're, they've just been like, okay, you know? There are some, like, you know, previously there were some strategies like uh, using transformation to go into Dark Samorg and then using, and then comboing Dark Samorg with um, anti-spell fragrance so that your opponent wouldn't, wouldn't be able to set any cards. That's also still a combo. Um, there's also, you know, using Apex Avion. But that, the thing is, is that you would constantly have to reuse your transformations with Apex Avion. So it's like Apex Avion wasn't really, like, he could kind of brick. And, you know, it, bricking isn't really something that uh, you like in Ninja since, although it is a trap-heavy deck, like, they also need a way to win. And uh, honestly, the deck doesn't have too many of those. And so... It, it kind of has the consistency, it doesn't really have the speed to match up with the modern decks. And they tried to fix that with Twilight, Twilight Ninja uh, uh, Getsuga. And Getsuga, although he has an amazing effect, I, I think this guy could single-handedly save ninjas. But his summoning conditions were kind of weird, and you had to tribute a, a ninja to normal summon him. If he could be special summoned, I think ninjas would be fine right now, but you have to normal summon him. Now, with these Ninja Pendulum Monsters, that might just change. But, you know, the more I read them, the less I think that that's actually going to happen. Because, you know, this support is kind of just mediocre. So, uh, starting off, we have Twilight Ninja Kagen. So, he's a level 1, scale 10. Zero attack, 2000 defense, warrior, dark pendulum monster. So, uh, Pendulum Effect, already you cannot Pendulum some monsters except Ninja Monsters. So, already, it's it's already off to a bad start, <laughs> because, like, not being able to Pendulum some monsters except for Ninjas, I mean, Ninjas do need a Pendulum Scale. I, I think they've needed it since Pendulums existed, and the fact that we're only getting it now is kind of sad. But, um, like, not being able to Pendulum some monsters except for Ninjas, I think that's, that's kind of bad. I mean, Ninjas do have a good number of Searchers. Uh, Hanzo itself, like, single-handedly saves the deck, simply because of how, uh, easy it can search ninja monsters, but, eh, you know, they can do better. So, next off, you know, this effect cannot be negated, so even if you were to negate Kagen's effect, um, you still wouldn't be able to summon Pendulum Monsters by Pendulum Summon. Except for ninjas. I, I just said Pendulum Monsters. You know, yeah, just, alright, so once per turn, when your opponent, or when a ninja monster declares an attack, so when your ninja monster declares an attack, you can make that monster gain a thousand attack. So just him being on the field, he kind of does, uh, it doesn't have to attack a monster, so that is pretty good, and it still applies even if uh, Kagen leaves the field. So, you know, you can have a Hanzo with 2800, a uh, Blade Armor Ninja with uh, 30, 3200 that can attack twice, that, that's not bad, but um, it's not the best either, so. Um, it's it's kind of just okay, you know. I, I would I'll probably play a one or two if I were to even consider the pendulum monsters. And so his monster effect is pretty is pretty bland. It's not anything too special. Like you can tribute this card to target one ninja monster you control. It gains 800 attack until the end of the turn. It's it's not anything too special. Now when I was playing Paleozoic Ninja, right? Because it actually worked because simply because of the whole interaction with Upstart and the Paleozoics, uh, he can drop them. First turn, he could summon out a Tsukiyomi, and then Tsukiyomi could uh, get you a lot of back row. So, 
The problem was is that all the ninjas were level four. So although I can make rank fours and I can make rank twos with the Paleozoics, there was never a middle ground. There, there wasn't a, a, a rank, a, not a rank two, a level two ninja monsters. And I feel that's what ninjas need. <laughs> because if Paleozoic ninjas ever wanna be a thing, ninjas are gonna need a level two ninja monster. And I was kind of saddened when I saw uh, Kagen was level one. Because first off, you can't pendulum summon him because the scales of ninjas, I think are only like two to three to 10 or maybe like one to 10. I don't think it's zero to 10. And, um, you know, they really missed an opportunity to make ninjas something a whole lot better, especially since Paleozoics are kind of like a mediocre deck by themselves, like at this point in time, since uh, they lost grass. And um, ever since like Zoo has been out, like Paleozoic has, has just been uh, kind of like dead, you know? But um, yeah, I mean, Honestly, they, they missed a good opportunity to make uh, Kagen level two and uh, really turn uh, Paleozoic Ninja into something a lot more playable or consistent. So yeah, next we have Twilight Ninja Jogen and uh, he's a scale one, so you wouldn't be able to pendulum summon any of the level one ninjas, which there are a, a good number of them. So I, I think it would have been better just to make it uh, a scale zero and then just have both of them say you can't pendulum some monsters except for ninjas I think that would have been better um, you can you can still play at like a high scale in this deck because the high scale is the one that says you can't pendulum summon um, monsters except for ninjas so if you have another high scale like a uh, Archfina centric or maybe a generic metal foe or a generic magician monster you can probably do that as well but you know that, that would require you playing cards outside the archetype which don't always work out but still, um, Kagen's a level seven rank, uh, not rank one, scale one, 2,000 attack, 1,000 defense. So his pendulum effect is if a ninja monster attacks a defensive monster, you inflict piercing. It's uh, it's not anything too special. It's just like a beat down type of effect. And monster effect, you can reveal one ninjutsu art card in your hand. Special summon this card from your hand. So I think that's actually pretty good. Um, you know, the only thing is that he has such an awkward level compared to all the rest of the ninja monsters because no other ninja monsters level seven except for like white dragon and black dragon. And both of those aren't really summonable like easily. <laughs> so uh, unless you have two of him, rank sevens aren't really going to be too much of an option, which is kind of sad. And if he attacks a defense mission monster your opponent controls, you know, you inflict piercing dial damage. So, you know, he, he pierces... He, he either pierces himself or he lets a monster you control pierce. So, yeah, I guess he's all right. Honestly, I think you'd be better just playing the Supreme King engine in ninjas. Because, uh, first off, they're dragons. So, you can play a uh, super transformation. And uh, super transformation could let you tribute your opponent's monsters to uh, special summon out your uh, dragon from the deck. So even if your opponent is playing like a, a monster that wouldn't be sent to the graveyard, so like um, let's say they're playing like a pendulum deck and you activate super transformation, right? So what super transformation would do is uh, it would tribute your monster, like let's say you have a Hanzo out and their monster, and uh, it would count the levels of the monster that were sent to the graveyard. And since a pendulum is sent to the graveyard, um, its levels won't count. But since your Hanzo was tributed, it will still be sent to the graveyard. And um, you would be able to special summon a level 4 dragon monster from your deck. So being able to summon out the Supreme King level 4 dragon type, you can search another Supreme King uh, pendulum scale and uh, have some more plays from there. Um, you can probably mix and match it, like maybe play one of, uh, what is it, Jogan? Maybe play, or maybe play like two of Jogan, maybe one of uh, Kagan, and then like have like the Supreme King engine there as well. But you know, with Link format, uh, it's going to be harder to use pendulum monsters in general, so it's kind of it's still a bit shaky. Um, ninjas still have no direct like, like no direction. Like it feels like they're just getting support just to get support. I mean, I'm still going to try it out just to see uh, what else can be done with the support. It doesn't seem like anything too special, simply because of like ninjas have like such diversity, but it's like not a lot of synergy, you know. So it's it's sad how ninjas work like that, but. It's, I, I think the deck still has like a bit of potential. It's just, it needs the right support to synergize it, you know? And Konami isn't really like putting 
putting that into action. I mean, it's nice that we got Notebook. Notebook is like the best support Ninja's got in like a while, but still it doesn't do enough, you know, like by itself. Like one card can't single-handedly save a deck unless it's the most broken thing ever. And uh, Notebook, although it was good, it wasn't the most broken thing ever. So yeah, uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now about Ninjas. Uh, I, I'll, I'll always love the archetype. <laughs> But, uh, you know, it's kind of ironic that they're making six Samurais into ninjas as well. And, you know, we, we're getting new ninja support. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, still, I'll, I'll try to give you guys a ninja deck uh, post Battles of, of Legend Lights Revenge. But, you know, until then, uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now. This was Nisho here. Nisho out. Peace.